us to really get involved in terms of how to get involved in programmatic buying and, and, and really kind of take us into a new new level, what we had to do was obviously it was about change management for us. So there was a couple things. Um, because we're a media company, primarily a broadcast company, um, with you know markets, 15 markets across the United States, and a distributed asset group, um, we had to really make sure that we communicated um, what were really what our goals. So the first thing was is really you know in this space, it's I tell everybody it's about first uh, providing a really in-depth gloss glossary of what's going on. So we talked and educated people in the space first of all. Second was with a vision to talk to them about where buyers are going. So we know by um, research and, and hearing it um, from a lot of our clients um, how they were buying inventory. So we obviously wanted to move in that direction based on um, where it's kind of an evolution of where the space was headed. Um, and then third, you know, we really had to really work with our local sales management. So, you know, some of the things that we um, found benefits um, down at the local level is that, you know, our, our local management manages these brands, will manage these brands. And so um, when we were looking at really kind of moving on to the platform um, and really what we wanted to is improve the type of brands that uh, we're bringing to our websites from, from advertisers and clients. Um, primarily it was about how do we do that and how do we give really some control um, to our local markets that they can then in turn help kind of um, mold what that brand looks like. So for example, they would have some policies and the things that type of advertising that they would accept. And it was that was really a, that was a big deal for them because it kind of put control back in their hands to make sure that we weren't managing it from a centralized standpoint, that it was a decentralized standpoint that they can improve their own brand. As we move forward, um, and as we really look into you know 2013, um, and really part of the early part of the year, we're looking to really incorporate um, a lot of the learnings that we've we've developed and learned in the last um, really four to five months. So um, for us, you know, as I've talked about. It's all so about we moved our inventory we um, over to the platform. And then from that, we've, we've gained a lot of institutional knowledge about what buyers are looking for. So as we move into next year, you know, our focus is how do we improve upon that? What are things that we can do within our own inventory to build up the value so that buyers in this space, when they look at our inventory, it becomes even more and more attractive? I mean, we believe our inventory is very valuable. Um, we are a local broadcast company with, you know, really, really deep roots in local communities that we serve, and we generate news and information about those communities. So down to the local buyer, you know, it's already instinctive that our, that our inventory is very valuable to a lot of big national brands. How we look at unified insights and then optimization are really, really key to this. Um, so, you know, it, when you think about the space, it's it's a constant evolution of optimizing to build better um, to build better um, um, better results for our clients. So the insights is just that it gives us clarity on what makes sense. Yeah. Um, it gives not only that us the ability to make changes. And with our inventory from an operational standpoint based on what the value is out in the open market. So those are really some of the things that are really valuable for us. As, as we change, not only are our clients always optimizing their campaigns with, throughout our inventory, but at the same way, if you think about it, we're optimizing um, our inventory to be better, more improved for them so that they have better results. As we look into mobile, mobile for, for us is growing at an incredibly fast pace um, and is generating so much um, demand from our consumers, consuming our local content. Um, so as we look into 2013, we are full throttle. We've got the gas all the way down um, with mobile. And really, it's, it's the idea of looking, how can we get um, and improve our inventory on mobile? How can we maximize um, that, that inventory back out to the buyer? Um, and, and, and that's really our whole focus is, is to make sure that our mobile inventory is in front of the buying community so that they can understand the things that we're doing from an app um, to mobile web. Okay, cool. And then my last So this is my first ad revenue um, conference, um, and very surprised. Um, just had lunch with um, a group of guys from a couple different companies, so it was nice to network and, and really kind of bounce some ideas off. I thought the quality of the panelists um, were good, except for you know one guy who kind of failed 
uh, a little bit, but nonetheless, um, I thought the quality of the um, the group has been really good. Some questions that have come out of the audience, um, and not only that, I've just noticed the type of quality of of attendees. Um, so these are decision makers at companies, and so that's what I really like about this conference so far. Is when I've talked to people, there are people that are actually making decisions and moving this thing forward. Cool. That's, that's it. That's all we got.